There are three things about the Jungle Cruise that I'm guessing you haven't heard of, and they all have to do with the lions that are looking over their sleeping zebra. First up was the fact that they didn't start out undercover. In fact, they were just out in the open for many years, until 1976 when they reimagined the African belt. That's when they built this rock structure to better hide the surprise of the trap safari which is very much like its Florida counterpart in the Magic Kingdom. Next up is these lionesses sharing their dinner with pride. This gruesome scene was also removed in the 1976 reimagining, partially because it was hard to say this zebra was sleeping, but also because they'd had some damage done from being out in the elements for so many years. Lastly, we have to talk about something that Mark Davis wanted, but never came to pass. When they were updating the Jungle Cruise, Mark Davis had this idea that they should put fences all along the outside of the attraction. In the fences, they would put some holes, and on the other side of the holes, when people would look through them, they would see a lion looking back at them. Unfortunately, this never happened because they thought it would be too scary for the children. But his wife, Alice Davis, thought it was more likely that the adults would be scared. 